Hey everybody, Joe Buddy Jimbo, Blue Collar Beer Review. One beer, one take. You know the deal, all for y'all. And, um, you know, we're getting close to the end of the week. I'm trying to knock them out, man. This is some good stuff. This is this one. I I'm really stoked about this one, too. This is Copperhead Brewery. Copperhead Brewery? Where's that, you ask? It's Conroe, Texas. Conroe, Texas is a lovely little... It's just this little town. No, it, it's Conroe. It's, uh, you know... It's, it's it's outside of Houston, and it's a great place. It's really beautiful. Actually, they got Lake Conroe there. Super fun time. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's where this brewery is. That's where this beer is from. And the name of this beer? Oh, uh, yeah. Medusa. It's a Belgian-style quadruple. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I, a brewery, little brewery in Texas, makes a Belgian style quadruple. Hey, I'm curious. Curious, call me Curious George. Your old buddy Curious George today, because I want to know if this thing is worth its, you know, if, if, it, if it measures up. That's a tall order. Belgian style quadruple. Uh, that's, you don't, in the beer industry, you don't take that, those words don't come lightly. That's serious business. That's serious talk right there. All right? So, I, I am, this thing's under the microscope right now. Because if it's, if it, it's going to be weighed and measured, it's going to be looked, listened to and smelled. But it's going to be weighed and measured. Because if it's, if it, it's found lacking, I'm going to rip this beer a new one because you don't go around throwing terms around like Belgian style quadruple. All right? This thing, it better be malty and sweet flavor. All right? It better have a light body to it and it needs to have a high alcohol on it. That's, that's kind of some of the characteristics of a Belgian quadruple, all right? So let's see what happens here, all right? We're going to do the double dump. We'll do in the look, listen, and smell, and we're doing the weighed and measured today. It's the next level type thing when you say you're a Belgian beer, all right? Because Belgian beers are the whip. They're the best. They're the to the Mount Everest of beers, all right? So here we go. This is a 12 fluid ounce. It's a baby beer. It's a little baby bottle of beer. That's it. I mean, I can drink this when I wake up to take a piss at night. You know, I can just, instead of water, I, you know, I do that. So this is, you know, it's like that. It's like you just clop, 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 and then you get back in bed. Easy peasy. But... The ABV on this, 10.5. So, it's, it's, it's measuring up already to the, to the Belgian, all right? We need to see how it looks. We need to see how it smells. But most importantly, we need to see how it tastes. It should taste delicious. And I'm not going to lie, it just... Just all this Belgian quadruple talk is making my mouth water. <laughs> so this better not disappoint. All right, so let's do the double dump, all right? And they've got this, they've got this pretty Medusa, this portrait of Medusa on here. Uh, you know, I don't review beer bottle labels or beer cans, but it's, it's some pretty good artwork on there, so I'll comment on it, you know. Just don't look her in the eyes. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's see what we can get out of her. Let's see if we shake her up a little bit. Let's see if we can get some head out of Medusa. Yeah, she's got a pretty good head on her. Color, it's it is it's got that amber. It's got that perfect amber color that the uh, Belgian quadruple should have, or the quad, 
as some of the beer aficionados, uh, I'm saying quadruple, but people would be like, that's a quad, you know. Some people take this shit a little too serious. I don't. <laughs> I just, I just really want to enjoy it. But it looks great. Man, it really sounds steady and strong. It's like, it's got a good crackle to it, but it's real even, it's real steady. Okay, it smells good. <laughs> it's not too boozy. It's got just... It's boozy, but not too boozy. You know, sometimes it's a little over the top. So this is pretty dang good. All right. Let's see what old Medusa has in store for us. Proof. Decent Brussels lace, super, super smooth. Oh man, it's really good. <laughs> I'm so easy, it's ridiculous. It's really good. It's not, it's not the best Belgian quad I've ever had. But it's pretty darn good. This thing. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mouth. Back of the mouth. Just pounding it down. It's super easy to drink. It, not, it doesn't have that high acidity. And it doesn't have that real crunchy burny as it's going down. Super, like, over-carbed. It's... <laughs> Banging burps, too. Oh, man. In my nose. I'm just tasting it all again. What a fantastic beer. This, Copperhead Brewing Company, Medusa, it's most definitely Jimbo approved. Um, I'm, I'm sure this is kind of a niche beer, right? Uh, it's probably hard to get. If you see one bumping around, pick one up. I don't think you'll be disappointed or any Belgian quad. They're just, they're the, they're just the top of the mountain. They're so wonderful, they're so delicious. Their, their flavor profile is huge and the nuance on them, you can totally taste it. The malt and the sweetness in this. Mm. Mm. I wish I had two more of these, uh, but I would probably pass out. So. Probably not a, I think there's a little left. Of, there was a little left. Hey! You guys know the deal. Tell a friend, leave a like, leave a comment. Enjoy your life. I love you. I love beer. You'll play Jimbo! Out.